Hello, I am evaluating an application named ViewScan that enables you to scan a page full of photographs and automatically separates them into individual images. Initially, I am selecting the settings located under each tab in the upper left corner of the window. As this is my first day using the application, there may be more optimal choices available. Under the Crop tab, I set Crop Size to Auto and Multi-Crop to On. Under the Filter tab, I check Restore Colors. Restore Fading is set to Auto, Sharpen is set to Heavy, and Flatten is set to Auto. Lastly, in the Color tab, I adjusted the color balance to Auto Levels. These settings were selected for my initial experiments, and the preliminary results were quite promising. Feel free to evaluate them yourself. The on-screen instructions that I am pointing to with the mouse cursor indicate the next steps to take. The preview button, highlighted at the bottom left, signifies that it can be activated by pressing the Enter key on a Windows computer. The preview is configured for low resolution to ensure fast processing. Once complete, the two photographs are cropped and appear in the upper right corner. The cropping handles start on the top photograph, allowing for adjustments if needed. To adjust the bottom image, click on it to transfer the handles and make the necessary changes. At this stage, the focus has shifted from the preview button to the scan button located in the bottom left corner. Pressing the enter key will initiate the scanning process. The duration of the scan is contingent on the selected resolution, which in my instance is 600 dpi. Initially, the displayed image is raw but it will soon be straightened and have its colors corrected. At this point, both images have been saved to the default folder, which is set under the input tab. Next, we will examine the end result of this operation. In Windows Explorer, two icons represent each image. Clicking on one of the icons reveals the image in the preview pane. My tests today have consistently shown an error in the cropping process, leaving a sliver of the card stock visible at the top of each photograph. In spite of the minor cropping bug, this tool is a major enhancement to my productivity and it is well worth the cost. My name is William Block and thanks for watching my video.